one so today i was doing some poc and i was exploring a dot 7 okay and and thought to show you how uh thought to show you everyone that how we can design our ui in 8.7 with react okay so let's let's see that i'm also excited and i hope you guys are also excited because first time i mean like uh we are i mean i'm going to do that i'm not uh, sure about you because this is 8.7 so uh, i have just created a very simple case type okay i like if you remember like uh, we are learning about the live application so i have that same live application okay and then i'll be designing a uh, to uh, a very quick ui and we'll see how it will be uh, look like how we can do it okay in uh, uh, react cosmos not cosmos themes this is react cosmos okay so in react cosmos we have to do this ui from that uh, case type only okay so here i'll say let's say enter employee details okay so now as as we do as we configure ui in cosmos theme we can do it in a similar way okay so i've clicked here configure view and then now if you see here this is this is little different okay you can see this ui is little different now here i can add the fields like we used to do in our previous things and then here fields okay so i have already created employee object or employee object is already there so i have to simply go and I can write also I can select employee okay and then select employee and then add it so employee is object so the moment I have added it I can configure so here you can see the options is coming in drilling employee okay so let's go that and now uh, uh, it's a showing me add so I can add all those fields so first I'll add first name then last name and then I can add department and then position so this much this much is fine okay so we can rearrange as well okay so first name last name positions title okay so here here only if you see for each fields we are getting an options to configure like here only we can configure that in in cosmos themes we used to configure we used to open the sections and configure like uh, required visibility and other things so let's say if i have to make it required we can do it here only if you have to uh, do something for disable enable we can do it from here only okay so this is how we can configure the edit mode is also there one thing here is not there the action okay because in in pega when we are using cosmos theme we have to use a lot of post x post value refresh those things but here we don't need okay that is a very interesting part which i noticed okay so i'll quickly show you that also that without refreshing how we can populate the ui okay so let me quickly save it and and run and show you that how this ui will look like so on the portal it will look very similar okay we won't see much difference so i have just like created employee details enter employee details so let's see that ui so see it is now if you want to uh, like in in our uh, we, uh, like our, we used to change the template in the similar way we can change the template also if you want to do it from here only so we can select okay default for the create it is the default form uh, showing if you want to edit i think for create we cannot edit okay so that's fine okay so now we wanted to see uh, which i was also excited at how we are not getting any action option so how we can do the things without uh, uh, like refreshing the whole sections which we are used to do that like like if you are working for, for, for uh, in a pega from long time you have always used this refresh this section so let's see that okay so now i have configured the first ui and after submission so i'll quickly approve um uh, uh, do for that leave also but here only what i'll do i'll add few more things okay and i'll try to see that okay so i'll i'll add few more things so let's say that i'll add a leave region okay so let's say i don't have a property so i'll add a property here so i'll say uh, uh leave type okay so and i'm going to make this one as a pick list and then pick list and drop down so i'll quickly say leap type is sick okay and then vacation and then i'll add personal okay so now let's say that i want to add another field okay what it is saying this instance already exists okay so leap type property i when i was doing poc i had already created so i will just search it here yeah i'll just refer it okay so it is pick list you can see that now okay 
we have an options also have add already added that so if i'll submit it and let me save it now let me create another case so go back or discard it we can discard that also so see the ui is looking very smooth because it is react okay so now we have that leap type so now see it is looking very good okay it is very smooth when i'm using yes it is really looking as smooth compared to that cosmos themes or ui toolkit now i want to populate a reason leave reason okay if i'm selecting personal okay so let's see how we can do that without refreshing that section so let's say i'm trying to add another field called comments okay so comments okay comments field now when this will come okay so here you can see that i'll try to configure that visibility also so visibility okay custom conditions okay and then here we can try to configure so see it is very easy so here we can select that leaf type we can simply write that in a, in a like kind of a uh, normal language okay that is where we are talking about the low code okay we have to just write the property name we don't have to select dot or something like that okay so simply select dot is equal to so these are very common conditions which any any person can understand and then simply here i can write personal okay so if i'm using personal then just save it so see if you if you remember i didn't i didn't added any refresh section or anything now if i'll go here i'll create another case and then see how that options will come okay so see here when i'm selecting personal so see the comments things is coming okay and when and the moment i'm selecting sick then it is going away so see this is the benefit okay if you're going away from that traditional pega ui and if you're going with the react okay so this is i mean if you're a little familiar with the open source or if you have done some coding in in javascript react typescript or react then you would have seen this and that is what we are going to see in that pega also quickly i'll design that view for approved project also so that uh, i'll just complete the flow so i had already created a proof project for it and then that's it and then i'll just save it so I'll show you the complete flow, like just creating a case. So now I can just fill some data. Okay, so I'll leave. And then this one, so let's say if the app is just rearrange this one, this is very easy. Just again, go here, configure view. And then we can click employee. And then after clicking employee, we can just rearrange the things. Okay, so first name and then here it should come. okay so let me create a new case so that it will populate like on the it will come quickly okay so see and then last name saying and then let's say i'm just giving department ppm and let's see and then i'm selecting personal so here it's a saying test something like that i'll keep because here see how smooth is okay because we are like used to to have like a, a refresh the whole section okay and then here also the ui's so this is how it is looking so let's say now uh, we used to select horizontal or vertical so we have that options so let's say now if you have to configure that one also so from here also we can do that or we can come to user interface sections and here we can say that forms so the, the whatever the form we are creating there here also it's coming so from here also we can configure so now we have to just select in line alignment okay and that's it and then again we are getting those options but if you notice one thing here that here also that refresh action things is not there because we don't need that much actions okay if you have to do we can use buttons or anything but we don't have to refresh for a smaller smaller things okay so now i'll just cancel and then click go again so see it got changed okay so he on this also if i'm selecting let's say reject and then one and want to add a field okay so i can say uh, create and reject region okay and then i can simply sell text paragraph and display as a i can say rest text also and in advance uh, we can keep let's say uh, max length is 300 okay and then we can add it 
and then after adding that field again we can configure see we are not adding any actions but still we can configure the visibility custom conditions and we can say custom conditions again here we can type okay just we need to type like we don't have to like think as a property just we need to type and then here i can say if it is a reject then it should come okay and then just save it now let's let's create another case and see that okay so if i'm just i need to refresh this case to see that change it now if i'm selecting see the reject reason is coming okay there is some problem with the reach text it's not loading correctly okay so maybe i'll just convert it to uh, instead of rich text i'll just convert it to text area and then hopefully that should work okay so yeah uh, few things is not working but yeah uh, i think slowly that those things will get stabilized one more thing quickly i want to show you that how it will look like in the code so in the back end it is not creating a section so it is creating a view because if you remember like in cosmos theme if you are already working so we are creating both view and as well as the section section is editable from the sections but view is not editable from that section okay view is always editable from the app studio okay sorry like from that case management so let me quickly show you the flow action so this is the flow action flow action is still there but if you see here there is no section okay and then here we have the view so if i click that so in place of sections now it came view and here it's saying open case designer to edit this view we cannot edit it from here so we need to click here and come here and from here we can edit it so this is it a quick uh, video uh, i wanted to show you how it looks like and um, how we can get rid of those like uh, finally we are we can get rid of those refresh sections post value and those things unnecessary actions which we used to uh, do to and which was making our system slow so we can get rid of those things so thank you thank you